My house was bombed. It was bombed by the black Muslim movement upon the orders of Elijah Muhammad. But within the week, Malcolm X expressed doubt that the Muslims were responsible. He planned to speak again the following Sunday at the Audubon Ballroom. And the flash came through uh, on this station and said, Malcolm had been assassinated. Malcolm X was killed by 16 gunshots fired at close range. He was 39 years old. And my children were crying, you know, what's going on, what's going on, are they going to shoot us? And I just knew they had shot him. During the next three days, 20,000 people endured sub-freezing temperatures to say goodbye to Malcolm X. When the funeral was over and Malcolm was stripped of his Western clothes and then the Muslims came and dressed him for a proper Muslim burial, they had a service. We went out to Osley, the cemetery, and when we got there, you know, the professional grave diggers were standing there with their shovels, but some of the black brothers said no. Mm -mm. We can't let you do that. We dig this grave. You know, we cover this brother with dirt. And it was a moving moment. And I was proud at that moment to be black and proud that my community and people no matter what had been said by the outside world, said to the brother, we loved and respected and admired you. And so we buried him. And there it is. <laughs>